When cancer took away Blind Warrior Sven's vision at age six, he didn't think he'd be able to play video games ever again. This is over. This is not my life anymore. I cannot see what is on the screen, so how can I ever play again? But Street Fighter gave Sven a new hope. If he couldn't play like everyone else, he would find his own way. I like competition. I am not that guy that is just playing a sport or a game for fun. No, I want to win. Let's see who this is. No! <laughs> Problem X! And Sven doesn't simply play in spite of his condition, he dominates. Gets the neutral jump. Ooh! Sven, no respect again, but that's the back throw for Musashi there. Good block from Sven. Not challenging that air fireball there. Ooh! Oh, in. And he gets the XDP! A very famous Vega player in Europe named Bolt Strike. He once said on a tournament if Blind Warrior Sven was able to see, he will be among us. And now that he's done the impossible, Sven wants to make sure no one else has to. I would like to have more companies being aware of having their games accessible to some point. Even if a game is like 60 or 70% accessible, you can still play it to a certain level. Sven is one hit away from sending TKR into losers. TKR is in a deep situation right now. We need that one, but no! Sven is gonna be the one! Hey everyone, before we get into the video, I just wanted to thank Opera GX for flying the team out to Amsterdam so they could meet Sven and of course get destroyed at Street Fighter V. And if you guys want to keep up with Sven's journey, you can check out the Gaming for All challenge, also supported by Opera GX, in the description below. All right, let's get on with the video. Okay, so like many of us, Sven has loved video games for as long as he could remember. But when he was just six years old, Sven found himself facing a life-threatening diagnosis. He ended up in a hospital because of debilitating debilitating headaches caused by a cancerous tumor that had killed his optic nerve overnight. When I woke up that the morning after, I was completely blind and I told my mom like, hey, why is everybody talking here? Because it's it's dark, it's, it's night. And then it turned out it was like 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. in the morning and yeah the fact was that I was blind. But as fate would have it, the devastating effects of the tumor would lead doctors to discover that Sven also had leukemia, an equally deadly disease that would have likely gone unnoticed and killed him otherwise. Of course, it's horrible to go blind because of the tumor, but at the same time, yeah, I'm somehow grateful that it happened because Otherwise, I would not have been here. Now, losing your vision at any age comes with a whole host of new realities. Sven ended up missing two years of school and underwent countless medical procedures, but as you can imagine, as a little kid, there was something else that he found particularly difficult. And yeah, indeed, the first thing I did when I went home, I went to my Amiga. I sat down at my, my Amiga, turned it on. Then I realized that, well, this is over. This is not... This is not my life anymore. I cannot see what is on the screen, so how can I ever play again? At this point, most people would probably give up on gaming entirely. But Sven was about to be introduced to a game that would change everything. A friend invited him over to play one day, and at first, Sven wasn't exactly jazzed about the idea. I was like, yeah, okay, I can go there, and then what can I do? I mean, he's playing, I'm sitting, and yeah, what is the fun? He did end up going, though, and when his friends started playing, Sven discovered something incredible. He was playing and I was listening. It was indeed Street Fighter 2 that was uh, that was uh, playing there on the Super Nintendo. And yeah, that was such an eye-opener for me. Like, hey, I can hear what's going on. I want to try this too. And well, that day we played together and I was not that good, of course. But I was having that feeling again like, hey, I have a controller. I can press buttons and something is happening on the screen and I, I want to try to improve. After that fateful day, Sven began to experiment with playing the game while relying entirely on sound to figure out where his opponents were, what moves they were doing, and how he could react to what he heard. Instead of watching what is on the screen, I need the sound to tell me what is going on. When I play a match in Street Fighter V, I can hear if the characters are on the left, on the right, if they walk forward, if they walk backward, so I can focus on those sounds to know where I am, where my opponent is, and how to deal with that. Do is and slag of een stoot. Volgens mij was het een medium kick wat hij deed. Heel juist. Jan, dus, dus Sven, op basis van die geluiden ga jij Amai. ingrijpen. Ja. As Sven got better and better at playing games by using only his hearing, what started off as a new way to engage in an old hobby slowly turned into something more. 
A few years ago, Sven was in a dark place. He felt like he'd basically hit a wall. Sure, he had a job in IT and games were still providing him with a much needed outlet in his spare time, but the tried and true confines of his comfort zone left Sven feeling like he was just spinning his tires. Sven's girlfriend bought a PS4 with Street Fighter V on it to get him out of his funk and encourage him to try something new. And after a few weeks of playing, she suggested something that Sven had never even considered. My girlfriend said, hey, why are you not attending to tournaments? And I was like, yeah, tournaments, I mean, those are for the pros. I mean, you need a lot of money to go there or to be invited or, uh, I mean, who am I? I am just a... Uh, nobody. Still, after some deliberation, at the end of 2016, the pair signed up for Sonic Boom, a Capcom Pro Tour event, and traveled to Madrid to attend the tournament in 2017. But things got off to a bit of a rocky start. People were like, hey, what are you doing here? Uh, do you need help? Uh, are you lost? And I was like, no, I'm here to play uh, video games. I, I'm, I'm here to play the tournament. And they were like, yeah, 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 sure. Um, we, how are you gonna do that? And I'm like, yeah, I, I play on sound. Madrid turned out to be Sven's breakout moment. Not only was he able to play a match on stage, he actually won. And a fireball there. Ooh, oh, in. and he gets the XTP! Oh. Sven! Go Sven! Sven coming with his Ken. And here from Spain? there is no such thing as problems in life when you're actually able to beat someone That's without looking at the screen he's so happy man Look. only with the sound shout out to sven the crowd is giving him a big big round of applause ladies and gentlemen round of applause for sven i must say playing in a tournament is much different than playing at home in your own room that is really something yeah i can only say everybody that likes uh, uh, to play uh, uh, computer games should try it once in your life at least if you have the possibility unfortunately sven didn't go far in the tournament but the fact that he was there at all and won a tournament match without being able to see spoke volumes about sven's talent and inspired him to continue going to even more live events but outside the country i've been to uh, to rome uh, to madrid uh, france uh, england to different cpt events uh, I think my highest rank once in a CPT was uh, top 32, was in, uh, in Madrid uh, a couple of years ago, um, and I had so much fun there. Still, no matter how talented he was, Sven knew that there was plenty of room to grow and competition was the best way to learn. In that tournament in Madrid, there was a guy who taught me and said, hey, after you hit a heavy tatsu, don't go for a grab, but go for a light tatsu into a DP. It was just a small suggestion, but it helped me a lot to yeah, to make an optimal combo with that situation. And so, Blind Warrior Sven was born. No longer a self-proclaimed nobody who simply enjoyed gaming for fun, but a legitimate contender who attended tournaments all over Europe and even started streaming. Playing video games is something I very much enjoy and that gives me the possibility to just forget that I am blind and that I'm actually sad about it. And then streaming, that is actually a bonus on top of that. I also really much enjoy that people are wanting to watch me playing video games and being in the spotlight, so to say. Playing video games, streaming it for people, getting attention, uh, meeting nice people. Yeah, that, that makes it just the perfect combination for me. In 2020, COVID essentially put everyone's life on hold. And since online tournaments weren't exactly accessible for Sven, he spent his time getting even better at Street Fighter V on his own. He's been grinding his way up the game's ranks and recently made it all the way to Ultra Diamond, something only a very small percentage of the player base has been able to do. You, Yo, the Ultra Diamond League guys, GG's. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Whew. Never been so high uh, before. Uh, GG's, thanks for the sets. A very famous Vega player in Europe named Bolt Strike. He's one of the best Vega players in the world, I would say. He once said on a tournament, if Blind Warrior Sven was able to see, he will be among us, among the, the warlords in Street Fighter. <laughs> and I'm not sure if that's true, but uh, being uh, uh, hearing those words from such a good player, that is that's great. That is just such a big compliment. And now that things have mostly opened up again, thanks to Opera GX, we were able to face off against Sven in person. Obviously, we're just filthy casuals, so he didn't even have to try very hard. Okay, I got it. I just had to. And you do it right back to me. Don't 
No, I guess not. Oh, doesn't matter if you can or can't. I'm dead. We also had a bunch of other amateur gamers try their luck against Sven, which also went about as well as we expected. They, they say I'm a very humble person, so I'm not like, oh, you cannot beat a blind person or something like that if I beat somebody. No, I'm, I'm always trying to be kind and nice to people. And I know people are doing their best to when they fight me. And sometimes I win and sometimes they win. But being among the best thousand players in Europe and the best 10,000 in the world at the moment, yeah, that is that is crazy. Bomb! Bye bye, Abigail. Let's see who this is. No! No! <laughs> Problem X! Medium kick, Hadouken, V trigger, Light Tatsu, Heavy DP. And this is punishable. Oh, but that was a bad punish from my uh, side. Just a medium punch. The back throw here and the KO. And that means 2 0 for me. <laughs> and I got you! 2 1! <laughs> and Amsterdam wasn't the only place where gamers attempted to get on Sven's level. He was also the face of Opera GX's Gaming for All challenge on TikTok to help spread awareness of the issues differently abled gamers face on a daily basis. I am Blind Warrior Sven, and I challenge you to take on the Opera GX Gaming for All challenge. So the only question is, how will you challenge yourself? During the course of the challenge, Sven attempted to help people understand how exactly he manages to play without sight. When we begin, try to pay attention to your opponent's sounds, as well as the sounds your character is making when being hit. Okay, so that sound was a heavy punch. That's a medium punch. That's a light punch. And that's a light kick. The challenge gathered hundreds of millions of views from all over the world, and a donation was made to the Able Gamers Foundation every time someone participated. If you want to find out more about how Sven and Opera GX were able to help that effort, you can check out the link in the description below. Of course, as they say, with great power comes great responsibility. Having achieved what many others in his situation wouldn't even dare to dream about, Sven felt like he could make a difference by becoming something of an ambassador for accessibility in gaming. But that hasn't always gone smoothly. Uh, for example, when, when uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu came out, my girlfriend and I, we were so excited about those games. There were no bump sounds in that game. So we could not play it because we had no way of navigating in that game. If Nintendo or Pokemon Company only added those sounds in that game, it would be playable for us. There are more blind people that maybe wants to game and try out things. It's so hard to get in, in touch with those companies. I have sent emails, uh, tweets uh, to uh, Nintendo and the Pokemon companies with my uh, suggestions about to improve the games. And either you don't get any response or you get a response like, uh, thank you for your message, uh, but uh, we cannot help you with this or something like that. And that is so frustrating. Still, Sven kept at it and some companies turned out to be more receptive than others. The Street Fighter VI beta, for example, revealed Capcom paid attention to Sven and other players like him and added a host of accessibility features to the game, though that's not to say it's a one-size-fits-all solution. I'm afraid that I indeed need to learn all the sound effects uh, again because uh, they might be quite different in this game from what I hear from uh, earlier published videos on, on YouTube compared to Street Fighter V. So yeah, we're gonna find out how it works, how accessible it is and uh, how much we gonna like this uh, this game. Because oh, I'm trying to, to hear if I can hear where my character... I mean, I can hear that I'm walking, but I cannot hear that I bump into something. Okay. <laughs> Okay guys, that bloop, 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 that, that means how far I am away from my opponent. Because if I'm getting co closer, it gets uh, higher pitched. You know that beep, 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 beep sound uh, that you hear Quinty during the has match. A raid candidate for you. Um, it can be very useful, but I think I would like to have the, the sound lower because it was now on full uh, loudness. And then it was, as I said, too much information during the fight. So what I'm gonna do is just turning off all the 
the extra accessibility features and that, that I'm just gonna play Street Fighter 6 like I'm playing Street Fighter 5 to see um, yeah, to see how that's, uh, how that's going. Sven has obviously accomplished a lot and had to overcome immense challenges along the way. But if his journey so far has taught him anything, it's that there's always room to improve. I like competition. So I am not that guy that is just playing a sport or a game for fun. No, I want to win. Playing a video game, I want to win. Uh, streaming, I want to win. And by saying I want to win is I want to grow. I want to get better. For Sven, video games allowed him to turn what many perceive as a weakness into a strength. To create an opportunity out of extremely trying circumstances. And to transform a narrative of despair into a message of hope. Just give it a try, and if it's not gaming that you like to do, and it's something else that you think, like, it's impossible to do, don't give up, give it a try, and you will find a way to do it on your level. If that happens, then that makes me smile. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit us up on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.